Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks sent by you series. A series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys sent to me. Like always, I'll be giving away one battle pass to one random submission. And if you want to submit something, feel free to join my Discord server or tag me on Twitter. Also, a quick thank you for all the fan art. You guys really make me happy. Now let's stop the talking and start the video. So let's start with a trick with the updated Yoru. Sadly, you cannot place your gate crash on top of boxes. And before the update, you could place your footsteps down and then cast it on the boxes. Now that sadly doesn't work anymore. However, what you can do is activate your footsteps and then it does work. Just keep in mind you're wasting a lot of abilities but sometimes it might be useful. If you retract your sentry gun with killjoy you have a small animation and it takes a while before you can shoot. But if you time it right and you switch to your pistol and then to your gun you can shoot a little bit earlier. A very nice animation cancel my friends but I would recommend to practice the timing a little bit. I'm not sure if this is a bug and it will get fixed but as of now don't use your brimstone smokes close to thin walls or this might happen. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, he saw the E through the wall, very OP. Before we go further, put one finger up if you like games. Now one extra finger if you like skins. And now one more if you like free things. You got three fingers up, then you might also like the sponsor of this video, buff.game. Some OG viewers might recognize buff because this is not the first time I talk about them. The reason for this is because I really like the app. You can earn free skins for basically doing nothing. The only thing you have to do is download buff, hop into a game and you will earn some buff points. And after playing a couple of games, it's spending time my friends. Valorant points, Steam gift cards. Domino Pizza gift cards and even Razer headsets, it's all there. Everything a gamer needs. And on top of that, if you think Valorant is too easy, Buff even challenges you to make 150 kills for example so you can earn some extra points. Now you don't have to feel bad if you make 30 kills in one game. Some games Buff supports are League of Legends, Valorant of course, Fortnite and Apex Legends. It's built on the trusted Overwolf platform so it's safe to use and it does not slow down your PC. And also if you sign up this month you get an extra 60 points for free. So why not try it out today with the link in the description. It's completely free so good luck earning those points my friends. Big thanks to Buff for supporting this channel and now let's continue the video. So let's continue with the cool killjoy trick on icebox. If you go under nest on B side you can actually place your nano swarms on the ledge. Now if you plan to spike in nest the enemies won't be able to destroy the nano swarms and easy kills for you. Just keep in mind it doesn't work if you plan to spike under nest because people can just crouch. Now a trick that is very high risk but also high reward. On split if you stand against the barriers in middle you'll be a little bit earlier than the enemies. You can use this time to place a wall and hide in the corner on the left. Because it's wall the enemies are more more likely to push and they might not check the corner. I mean, who would be in the corner, right? Well, Elmin G is in the corner and you're gonna make some easy kills. Does he get the ace though? Place your bets now. Nice. Now an easy Viper wall to retake a site on Ascent. Make sure heaven is clear, then find this pipe on the ground and then use your ultimate. If you do this you can jump down, clear generator and clear hell. And after that you can peek to a main from a lot of different angles. Easy peasy retake for you my friend. Here's a simple trick but in case you didn't know. With jet you can float all the way to yellow box from nest. A nice one for if you want to save one updraft. And now that we're talking about the yellow container. With this container there's actually one lineup you can do with literally any agent with a molotov. In the post plan simply stand over here, walk a little bit forward and throw your molly against those boxes. This works with all the agents with the molotov and of course the race grenade. Now a fun trick simple bonsai sent to me. You can actually use the palm tree and CT spawn on breeze as cover. If you for example want to save your gun and you think the enemies are about to push, crouch and stand behind the palm tree. Now when the enemies are pushing they first not gonna spot you, then they slowly walk forward, move their crosshair to the left and then you shoot them easy peasy. You remember this killed your nano swarm on bind? It's a good nano swarm and it will hit the people planting or defusing on the default plant. However it doesn't hit the people standing on top of the container. Luckily you can fix this by throwing your nano swarm on this ledge over here. Now you will hit people standing on the container and also you can't crouch under it. Very nice. If you use your Yodu clone, the clone will have the best gun in his hand that you currently are holding. This means that the clone almost never has his knife in his hand and if you see someone with his knife running, it's probably a real person. However, now that you know this knowledge, you can actually fake the enemies out. Drop all your guns, activate your clone, the clone will run away and the enemy's probably gonna shoot it. They get flashed and then you kill the enemies easy peasy. Or you just run like your clone and you might get a kill like Rambo got. Look at this. Oh fuck, people actually fell for it. Oh my goodness. Very risky, but very smart. Now, Viper Wall, I actually don't see anyone using, but it's pretty okay. If you stand over here, you can cast your wall all the way to middle. When you activate it, you will have a main, ramps, and even middle. Could be very useful in some situations. Now, a small piece of information that some people might not know. If you use the Kills or Nano Swarm, it does 180 damage. But the Nano Swarms do not stack, so you can't use both Nano Swarms on the same spot to do double damage. Now you know. And let's stay on the practice range for another mechanic you should know. 
should know. As we know, when you get stunned, your fire rate goes down. And when you get stunned in your Neon Ultimate, it doesn't look like your fire rate goes down, but in fact, it does go down. So, a uh, big tip, my friends, don't stun yourself. Now, let's go to Ascent for a very easy Sofa lineup. If you want to retake B on Ascent, you can simply go to this corner, aim at the wall, and shoot your arrow with full charge and two bounces. The Reckon Dart will land in both houses and easy enter for you. It doesn't have to scan the enemies. If it gets destroyed, you're almost sure that one enemy is in the boat house. And most of the time, it will at least scan one, so simply use your ult and easy kills for you. Now, cool Viper trick on Haven. It might be a bit tricky, but try to plant the spike over here. With a wall, it can easily be done. Then stand in the opening, look at the middle of the boxes, jump and do a right click throw. Now you have a very nice one way to look at the spike. From window for example, you can easily spot the legs of the enemies. And they have to stand in your smoke to defuse. I would be very tilted. Now a trick you can do with any agent with the smoke, this time on fracture. If you do this default smoke over here, you can't see the enemies. However, when the enemies pushes and you jump, you see just a few pixels of them. Just enough to get some nice kills. And of course, you could also use your minimap. Adfish is showing how it's done. Down. Now a strange jet glitch on icebox. When you go to these iron bars over here, jump and then spam crouch, you will actually float. There's a high chance that the enemies will hear you, but when they push, there's no way they're gonna look up. So easy kills when you're holding a judge, my friends. Now another simple one, this time with Cypher on Ascent. If you jump, you can place your camera over here. It nicely spots the site and it's very hard for the enemies to see, so easy peasy. Now two nice Yoru tricks you can use. First place your clone down, then walk back and cast your gate crash towards your clone. And when your gate crash is on top of your clone, press F two times and it looks like your clone just teleported. There will appear a blue spot on the ground, but there's a high chance that the enemy will shoot it anyway. So they will get flashed and easy kills for you. And of course, when you do this trick, find cover and you see your abilities approaching each other through the walls. This next trick is a little bit less useful, but now you know it's possible. You can throw your flash against your clone. The flash will fly very unpredictable and you will most likely flash yourself, but hey, now you know, my friend. This post-plant wall with Sage is also very cool. If you plant a spike in this corner, go back to garage. When you place your wall like this, you can actually hide behind the wall. On the other side, you see this wooden part and you see this iron part. The iron part is a little bit higher than the wooden part. So what you can do is crouch and hide at the wooden part and when the enemy defuses, go up and easy kills for you. This is a good wall because the enemies might think it's a misplaced wall and when they see the wall, they don't know exactly where your head is gonna be while you know exactly where the enemy is. Also, if you like this video this far, feel free to give it a like or subscribe and one day we might grow bigger than the Cat Channel Carmano. Now look at Black Hammer using this beautiful head glitch spot. <laughs> Easy peasy. Now cool cypher trick on fracture. When you are standing in satellite, try throwing your cage in this corner. After that, go to sight and when the enemy is pushing, activate your cage and you can easily spot their legs. I like this one because from the enemy's perspective, it doesn't look like there's a gap, but there's actually a small gap. Sneaky peaky, my friends. Now a nice Yodu flash on icebox. You can use this trick in two ways. You can flash and peek immediately. This way, the enemies won't be flashed yet, but they might turn around and you can get some nice kills. Or you flash, wait a little bit and then peek. Then the enemies are flashed, but they have the time to run away. And let's stay on icebox for another cool trick this time on b side two sage walls the first one is over here you can place your wall like this and the enemies won't be able to push and you can easily plant a spike or when you have control of a kitchen and you plant a spike on the very edge of nest you can place your wall like this and hide in the back of kitchen easy peasy well actually there's a better way to do it if you place your wall horizontal the enemy will have to destroy more wall segments unless they have a jump of course and situational but if you aim to the left while planting the spike you can actually hide the spike behind your wall so tons of possibilities my friends and while we're talking about sage walls on b side one more cool thing there's actually a bug. If you place your wall like this, you can look through the wall to the spike. It's very broken, but I think it will get fixed soon. And this is it, my friends. Thank everybody so much for submitting their tricks. I hope you learned something, and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.